Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Plasma 5.25 has been released, and being one of the best desktop environments in Linux land, G from G's Multiverse felt it was a cool responsibility to take on. So without further ado, let's quickly dive right in. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different because I couldn't get the Neon Testing Branch build to work in GNOME boxes, which is what I use primarily, and I don't have a spare laptop or a capture card, so you're going to have to make do with something much, much better. Fortunately, the KDE team was very, very kind enough to send me over plenty of materials, media to actually be able to make this video, and I couldn't be more grateful. So the first up in our list is navigating workspaces. For example, the overview effect that shows all your open tabs, windows, and virtual desktops. You can search for apps, documents, and browser tabs, and it comes with all the features of KRunner and the application launcher. In overview, you can remove, add, and rename your desktops as well. Speaking of pinching your touchpad, Plasma 5.25 now comes with one-to-one -one touchpad gestures, not only for the trackpad, but also for your tablet. Now you can use them to trigger all sorts of effects. A four finger pinch will open the overview, but a three finger swipe in any direction will switch between virtual desktops. A downward four finger swipe will open present windows and a four finger swiping up will activate the desktop grid. Now, as I said earlier, you also now have gestures for touch screens. So you can swipe from the screen edge and have effects such as overview, or desktop grid open directly following your finger, resulting in a much more natural interaction with your machine. Now coming to another item on our list, Plasma 5.25 was released with flying colors. You can now automatically synchronize between the accent colors and the wallpaper. The dominant color of your background picture will be automatically applied to all the components that use the accent color. Now, the great thing is this is also supported by slideshow wallpapers. Now, another thing that is new is that you can tint all the colors of any color scheme using the accent color. So this will give all your windows a very pleasant and unified look as elements automatically adapt to the background you're using or take on your favorite color. In true KDE fashion, you can also choose how much tint you'd like to apply. Oh, and by the way, this time around, you can also make the header area or the title bar use the accent color. Now, this is similar to the Breeze Classic Dark Gray title bar, except now that you choose any color and apply it to the entire header area. Remember how I talked about one-to-one -one gestures for touchscreens? Well, the next item on our list has a relationship to that. Plasma 5.25 comes with a user-facing touch mode. This turns on whenever the screen is detached or rotated 360 degrees on devices that support this. Of course, it's also possible to enable it manually, because why not? The task manager and the system tray will become bigger as a result of this being in touch mode. Why do they need to be bigger? Well, very simply, because this allows for an easier target for your fingers. You can also customize the size of the icons when touch mode is disabled. How cool is that? So. We all know how KDE Plasma is one of the best Linux desktop environments when it comes to customization. Okay, I mean, there is no argument to be had about that. So Plasma 5.25 brings in plenty of new ways to make sure that you're able to tailor your environment to your liking. So now they've added floating panels, you can add a margin all around the panel whilst animating it back to a normal panel when a window is maximized. You can choose whether you want a floating, transparent, or an opaque panel. You also get the new blend effect with Plasma 5.25. Blend effect gracefully animates the change between themes and color schemes. I mean, blend effect is really cool to have. So this means that whenever you change settings, there will be a very smooth transition to the new colors and appearance instead of a sudden change, which it's, I don't know about you guys, but it's quite jarring to my eyes. Now, one of the things they added again is a powerful containment management feature. Now, what is a containment, you might ask? Well, and well, according to KDE, those are desktops and panels between your monitors. So what this containment management feature allows you to do is it actually enables you to be able to move the desktops and panels between your monitors, even if they have been disconnected. 
Okay, now this also means that you can now move your entire desktops with their folders and widgets from screen to screen just by dragging them around. You can also move your panel along with all the applets inside of it. That is pretty slick. All right, so we are almost at the end of this video, but there are still a lot of things for us to talk about. I'm quickly going to go over them and then we're going to wrap this video up. So what are the things that are even more there in KDE land this time around? Well, the global theme settings page has been redesigned. It's now clearer and gives you all the options to customize your theme in one place. The application page for Discover has been redesigned as well. And now it gives you links to the documentation and the website of the application. It also shows you Flatpak permissions, which is pretty cool. Or you can also use Flat Seal, but having it integrated into Discover is actually very handy. Now, another thing is if you get your password wrong, the login manager will shake, giving you a visual cue telling you to try again. This is this is pretty cute. And now the Kwin script settings page has been rewritten, making it easier to maintain and debug code. The keyboard navigation system has also been revamped, adding custom shortcuts and keyboard navigation to the system tray. If you Anyways, guys, with that, we come to the end of this video. This was a different kind of video, I know. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we will see each other very soon. Peace.